Good evening. <laughs> The laughter. Listen, <laughs> let me just take off this up. We have been working. So yesterday I posted um, about I'm redoing, revamping my bedroom, and this is what has happened today. So, hello, good afternoon, good evening. Look, you can see the gloves and all the stuff. So I wanted to create a boudoir so those of you we are all living at home um, and I just wanted to create a space where I could sleep and feel comfortable and get that rest you know um, sleep is just as important as anything else actually it's probably it's more worrying. important than the most things that we take um, as dear to us in life sleep is really important and it's something that I've played around with for years Hello, my darling. <laughs> Hello, Chris Brown. Hello, Melanin Sparkle. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. So, today uh, we have. Uh, what have we done today? We've. Glossed? No, no. Before we glossed. Sanded. We, we sanded. So we prepped. So, we've done all the prep for the room. And you can hear Carol Lorraine is just swearing um, to everybody. So we, we did all the prep and now we've done really well. We've done the skirting boards. So I'm just going to give you a little, a little thing. Well, it's not finished yet. It's not finished. This is the first. So that was an accident. That wasn't what was supposed to happen. <laughs> that wasn't what was supposed to happen. Um, yeah. So let me just wait for to come back on. So come back in the room. Come on, come on, come on. We had a few of you on here and I pressed the finish button. I don't know why I did that. He's trying to call me. Hi, Sky. I, w I meant to... Why she did that, I don't know. <laughs> I was supposed to turn the camera around <laughs> and I ended up pressing finish. Hilarious. I'm laughing at my own self. Listen, this is not about... This is not about glamour. There is no glamour business going on here. Look at my head. Look at... Look. Don't I look gorgeous? Good evening. Alarine, how are you doing, darling? Don't I look absolutely fabulous? So I'm gonna show you. So we have done coats, we've done skirting, we've done the what we've done, the ceiling. Look at that. Taya said it's absolutely hilarious. <laughs> I look gorgeous, don't. Yes, I look lovely, fabulous. Yeah, so. This is the new the new look. I'm, I think I'm going to bust this out on road soon. Again, with the speckles as well. And um, the tired eyes and the glasses. Now, the glasses nearly fell in the paint, so I had to take them off. So now I had to put them back on so I can inspect the work that we have done. So the whole room has, we've sanded, we've done all the prep. I've, we've actually done more than what we thought we would, didn't we? Because we yeah. washed the walls down. Yeah. Um, and who's crying? How you mean? Oh, you're dying. How you mean you're dying? Oh, listen to me. <laughs> this is the very, very lovely, fabulous look of the next season. You watch and see if people don't start busting this, this hairstyle. This is, this is it. This is, this is the look. And don't forget to wear the earrings to go with the head wrap. You cannot. <laughs> you cannot miss out the ears ring to go with the lopsided head wrap. Yes, that's falling off my head, but never mind. But I just wanted to just tap in with you guys and just let you know what we've been doing today. Day one. Well, it's actually day two, right? This is day two. So day three, tomorrow, another coat, uh, skirting boards. Look, we've even done the doors, look. Cheeky now. You see, when you, 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 you want things to look the way you want to look, you just make it happen, look. I'll put the first, look. So these doors were brown. Not anymore. Right? I know you're watching and I know you're wondering, how did she make it that way? Well, it's because of the styling. That's how I made it this way. 
So the doors that were brown and now they are white. The skirting boards were silver, but now they are white. So we're going for this theme. So you've seen uh, what I posted yesterday in terms of what the room looked like before and the vision of what I want it to look like at the end of this. Now I've have until I've given myself to the 28th, which is next week Saturday, to get this done. And I've got a whole heap of things to do in the middle of the week, but it's going to get done. So we're just working uh, here. The painting will be done by tomorrow. The painting will be done by tomorrow. Then the flooring will have to be laid. And then when the flooring is laid, then the boudoir, the bed, the throne will come together. Yes, because the bed is the throne. When you see the bed, you will say, well, she said it was a throne and it is a throne. The bed is, is set for a queen as I am a queen. And I just wanted to really, all jokes aside, all jokes aside, is just to remind you to value who you are. And most, a lot of the time, all of us, we give, we give away to everybody else and we give what's left to ourselves. And that's a really dangerous thing because we need, and if we're not on top form, we can't then help others. So I just want you to, to think about what you're valuing, what your value is. What is your value today? How much are you worth? Are you giving away your batty and shitting through your rib cage? Yes, I said it. Are you giving yourself away and then causing yourself harm? You are the only person who can judge that. No one else can judge it. It's, this is your call. So you've got to look after. We have to start looking after ourselves. We really do. They want to come. So Grace Campbell, come on. And she said, bring her around the camera. Grace? You, 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 you want to come on the camera? She wants to see what's happening. Tell me if you want. And Sheena too. I see two people say, bring them on the camera. We don't want to come on the camera and see what I'm doing in my house. Anyway, but what I'm saying is, and, and this, is something, this is something that I, I've kind of having to work out and work through myself in all the things that you see me do. This is something that I'm working out myself, and that is value. What is my value? What is your value? And only you can put that cost, that price, that value on it. No one else can. No one can tell you what you're worth. Only you can determine that. And so today we're doing this because I worked it. I said to myself, self, why should you make so much noise? Why? Sorry, I'm trying to do the painting. What? This is what happens when you just can't get the staff, you know. Just can't get the staff nowadays. Just have people just coming at the place. I just start shouting the odds like, what, what, what? You see, you see, you see, you see. I'm trying to do the painting. Mm-hmm, Yes, that's what she says. Sisterhood. Sisterhood, yes. Anyway, so anyway, I'm coming off now. After I embarrassed myself earlier and, and cut myself off. <laughs> But yeah, so this is like day two. And so tomorrow will pretty much be the same. And then the next day, the flooring. And then the boudoir. And then I'm going to show you my boudoir. Are you excited? Ooh. I'm excited. I'm so excited about my boudoir. And when I show you my boudoir, trust me, you see the head attire? It will look so different from this. Because this is just the prototype. I'm trying to find a new fashion. And I'm trying to help others. <laughs> Georgina Scott said, enjoy ladies, hi Lorraine. Hi. <laughs> hi. <laughs> yeah, so on, when I show you the boudoir, you're going to... <laughs> Dion says, I see you're protecting your hair. Hmm, you could call it that. <laughs> You could, you could call it protection. You could. <laughs> but afterwards, I will show you what this is going to look like. So, yes, yeah, so it's just to show you, as I posted yesterday about this project, this is part two. We are um, painting. My, my back is bunning me, though. So, what I want to know is I know we're on lockdown, yeah, but I'm just going to ask this question anyway. Who out there, who has anointed hands? 
who can do a very good massage for me? Because my back is hurting me and I need a massage. And if you don't ask, you don't get. So I'm asking. I need a massage. I'm asking. Hello. Me too. Right. So Lorraine Bailey says, I think you need another pair of gloves. Another pair of what? Gloves. Yeah, yeah, it's true, it's true. And then Desmond says, so you're going to invite me around to your boudoir? I'm not inviting. Listen, when, the, when I invite everybody, see, I'm going to invite everybody around to the boudoir in one sweep. So you will all see it together. And then you're gone. And then we're gone. And then I'll hit the finish button, and then I'm going to snug down into my bed. Hello. You don't want to have to burn, <laughs> Michelle, Michelle Burton saying hi, 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 hi. Hi, so, Mish. That's, um, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's, see, this is the help. We must help together. She was cussing a minute ago. I was not cussing. Mama, I'm cussing. Mama, 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 Listen. Do you see these white dots? It's been fun. She done it. It was her. Because she can't. Are you threatening? Are you threatening? Are you threatening? You could imagine you want to die tonight. Stop. You've got pain. Look, there's pain there. Look, the person's coming and just putting. Pa listen, go. And pain Your there. section is calling you. <laughs> anyway, listen. It's all what? Listen, look, Rain Bailey's saying, I hate decorating. Listen, me and you both, but needs must. Yeah. And sometimes, you know, because remember, remember, people, I actually ask for help. A few weeks ago, I put something on Facebook. I needed some help. Isn't that right, Lorraine? Yeah, you did. And I said, is there any handymen out there? And not one. Anyway, let me not get into that. because so it was me that came. So Lorraine came. And then my sons came. Because my sons have been very helpful. They cleared the room and blah, blah, blah. So don't there think, don't think said that my people are not helping because they are. But when I'm asking for a handyman, I'm actually asking and giving somebody an opportunity for an opportunity. Yeah. You can't miss the opportunity. That Sometimes, you know, just through laziness and sometimes insecurity, you miss an opportunity that could have given you another opportunity. But you missed out. You missed out. <laughs> the Ray Bailey saying, I'm sorry, I'd never offer. <laughs> And look, Lorraine Bailey, I would never offer anybody else unless I needed to, really. But Barbara Ka Carriman is saying, she finds it, Barbara, let me just show you where my address is. You can come and help if you so wish and have some therapy at the same time. Oh, there you yes, go. you can. So, yeah, but, you know, it needs muscles. So I put this call out and I said, right, and you, if I'm just going to, I'm not exposing anybody, but there's, there's a whole heap of men out there that are messaging me. I like you or this and I want this. And, and all they're looking is pump pum. They're not actually looking to help a sister out. <laughs> I'm just going to call a spade a spade because I, 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 you know, we have these conversations outside. Right. And, and so I'm just saying, so it's me and my sister in, right? Me and my sister in here, and my other sister in, we have a sister circle where we help each other. That's right. Oh, L Lorraine Bailey saying you should have shown your cleavage when you asked. Oh, listen, there's enough breasts here to feed a nation. You don't need to show that cleavage. But I don't need to cleavage without showing the cleavage. I don't need to show it because they know, because they see is very lovely and scrumptious. <laughs> but they miss the opportunity. Anyway. Um, I would love to come meet you properly and help, but think you live far miles away. I do, Hannah. I live far from you. I do, I do, I do. But you know what? It's the thought. It's the thought That's that you right. want to help. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> and if, so my thing is, you know, I'm, I run a relationship program, right? And my thing is this. There are many men who say they want to be in relationships, but actually, I don't actually believe that's true. I think that they're playing. They are pretending to be single and they're not. My question to you people watching is what is single to you? 
What does it mean? Because this is what happens when you're single, right? You get myself and you get our sisterins or family. We come together and we try and do something, right? We try and do something okay. to help to help each other, right? And then you've got man and man that's coming and chatting shit. Did, oh, did I say that? Sorry. Chatting breeze and shit in your ears saying, oh, I'm like, blah, 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 blah. You don't want to help. You don't want to do nothing. You just want to come and sit, cotch, look in my face and then look in my pum pum. My pum pum is not there for you to look at. I'm just saying. Because yeah, right about now, no, hold on. Right about now, I need help to paint my, my house, my boudoir. And if you were looking and you had the right mind, you, you would I get foot cross my boudoir by helping me to paint. Because that's the only way that you're going to get past there. Oh. Right. So Barbara Cameron saying they just want what... They just want what you have, but not willing to put in any work. That's true. That's true. I thought I wanted to help. Then I thought, oh, nah. <laughs> <laughs> that? That's the rain. Right, like that. Yeah. <laughs> Georgina Scott saying you're cracking me up today. <laughs> but you see, it's when you get me in these kinds of moods when I've got my head wrap up like this and I've got my paint on my face and it's not makeup. It's a different kind of paint. Different kind of paint. It is. And so this is what happens. But yeah. And it's only because I've had messages today saying, Oh, what are you saying? What are you doing? Where are you going? How are you feeling? Oh really? Yeah. And I'm like, Go you there. can't help me. Go there. Yeah? You're supposed to, we're supposed to help me. This, the, the Bible says that the woman is there to help me. And the, and the man is there supposed to help me. Help meet the need. You ain't meeting my need, but you just want to meet my meat. That's all you want to do. So the answer is no. I ain't, no I ain't got no meat to give you. I'm, my meat is painting my boudoir. And I'm so excited. I'm so excited about... I'm it done. Are you... Oh, you missed that. Oh, when, it, when, when the boot was done, she'll be... Get it on! With the right person. Not them... People that can't do nothing for you. They can go where... <laughs> Yeah, but, but, you know, these guys that are on here, they're seeing my face and you're talking and I'm just like. <laughs> <laughs> but listen, guys, I'm gone because I've been on here way too long. I only came on here for two minutes. But, you know, you know how it goes when you're having a bit of fun. <laughs> Georgina said I laughed hard at my phone then. <laughs> yes, man. I don't know what Lorraine is on. Lorraine is on High on Life. I've enjoyed my painting. I like painting. Yeah, she's enjoying the painting. Their movement, them talking about their movement there. Listen, after after what we've done today, I don't know if I'm going to be able to even move my leg, much less Let's my arm. Because me need to stretch out. You need us. Sometimes, you know, after you work out, you need someone to come and stretch out your structure. Yeah. Your, 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 your structure needs to stretch Are you willing to do that? No, they're not. Meet my meat, LOL. <laughs> <laughs> That's your cheetah on the right. That's the you've seen them read. <laughs> after anyway, I said all of that to say that we have started. So when when so hold on, there's another. So when you're going to invite around to your when are you going to invite? Is that around to your boudoir? Desmond Edwards. <laughs> Desmond Edwards. <laughs> Good evening, sir. Desmond Edwards. So you want an invitation? The only way you're going to get an invitation to my boudoir is if you offer to help me. And if you don't offer to help me, then you won't get right. a, an invitation to my boudoir. It's as simple as that. Because, you know, I'm not looking for no henka henka, you know. Bye, Desmond. I said that without my lips moving. <gasps> oh! <laughs> Watch her jump and she jumped it. Mad, mad. This woman's... Bye, Desmond. Come and help. If not, go away. <laughs> this so this is the Yvonne and Lorraine show. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, we're finished. We're finished for the, the, for the day. We'll be back here tomorrow 
to do some more and um and and get this <laughs> Ray Bailey saying, Tell him she was like <laughs> laughing. Listen, listen, in all, all jokes aside now, on a serious note. <laughs> on, on a serious note, listen to me, I listen to me good. Let me tell you single men something here. You, right, want to get something for nothing and it can't work. Women are moving forward. We are strong. We are powerful. We are thought leaders. We are making so many changes in this world. And men, you are getting left behind. Not all of you, but a lot of you. And if you don't want to get left behind, well, you better buck up on your ideas and get with the program and start helping. That's all I'm saying. That's, right. That's all I'm saying. Hannah says, who needs TV when you're on live? <laughs> Lazy. Desmond says he's not afraid of hard work. That's good. Then put the work in. Well, come on. Help. That's, that's my thing. No problem. No, it's no problem. It's no problem. I don't mind. A little hard work. Absolutely. Sometimes it's best to do it yourself. Then you're not beholden to no man. Listen. Yeah, you're right, Lizanne. Absolutely. Sometimes it's best. It's true. Because right about now, no man can come and tell me a dad oh, for you. you. And I, so what now? Nah, could nah. you think that they could be that? Desmond is. I think Desmond might be the only man on here. Desmond, do you think? Do you think that by helping a woman, it gives you, uh, makes her beholden to you? I wonder if we could bring him on. I don't know how to do that because some names are coming on. That because I think it's quite an interesting. I've missed what you were decorating. I'm decorating my boudoir. I'm creating a boudoir, a very very intimate space for myself. Because I had a question for myself when I spoke to myself and asked myself the question: What do you need to do for you? Myself, my spirit, my essence told me that I needed a space, not for work, not even for play, just for me to do where if I want to meditate, if I want to visualize, if I want to have a little something, something, can have a little something, something in the space. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, well, congratulations. Zena Marie says, okay, I'm calling you for honeymoon ideas. And come, where? Come on. You can call me for anything, you know, anything, anything at all, right? Anything. So as you guys are coming on, listen, this was not supposed to be a long thing. This was supposed to be a quick thing because we were just coming into the home stretch of the first full day of painting, sanding, wiping down, washing down and all kinds of stuff. Sanding, wiping, sanding, down, wiping everything. Prepping. Prep, we, well, the prep's done and now we're in the midst of it. And so, yeah, I'm creating a boudoir. So if you don't know what the, the, if you don't see them, you're, you're cracking me up now. I'm not engaged, LOL. I'm just saying. <laughs> well, well, we're going to put something out there in the atmosphere because we want to find you a nice young man who will help you. Not just looking at your morning, your noon and your night and saying, me like you. <laughs> Yeah, I'm done. I'm done. I'm so done. I'm so done. I'm so done. Do you understand? Get in with it. Ali, what you're saying? I'm, I'm just done with this. So anyway, we had, we've had a great day. Fantastic. Yesterday, the men, there were some men who came. I have to big up my son, uh, Leon. I have to big up brother Trevor as well, who came to my aid to help me. Yes. Yeah. And it's the ones, the ones who are not single who will help the sisters. And it's wonderful that they do. But those who are single, you need to get your finger out, man. And then you say you want woman. To do what? To do what? Cook, clean and... Oh, No. Come on, guys. We've got to do better. And you know what? I'm just going to say, I love my men. I do. I... I respect you guys but i have to tell you the truth when the truth needs to be said you're slipping slacking you are come on 
Get it together. That's why there are still single. Absolute. They're not single, you know, Barbara. One man, let me tell you something. One man messaged me to tell me, because we, on the show, we put something out so that we were going to send some people out on dates. And, one of the, and no, none of the men took us up on, on the offer. And one man messaged me to tell me the reason why the men are not taking you up is because they're not really single. That's right. And he said, you know, um, they like might have a booty call or a friend with benefit. But I said, but they're saying they're single. So my question to you guys is what is single? What, what is single? If you have a booty call or friends with benefit, are you really single? Because I don't actually think you are. Yeah, I don't think you are. And if you do have a booty call or a friends with benefit, isn't that hindering you from actually making a commitment or actually going out to see or to meet a person that you would really want to be? Because the booty call and the friends with benefit is behind closed doors. No one don't know apart from you and that person. So basically, you're just exchanging body fluids. Yeah. That's what you're doing. With no real emotion, no connection, no help, no nothing. So my question to you and is, and and she, because if you've got a booty call and, or friends with benefit, are they exchanging body fluids with other people? Just what I'm just asking. Mm. I'm just asking, right? And so I'm saying this: what is single? And we're going to be talking about that on Tuesday. What is single? And I think it's going to be a heated debate because I actually feel like if you've got friends with benefit. Uh, or or a booty call. You're not single. No. You're misguided. Not the shop. You're misguided because you're giving away your batty hole and shitting through your rib cage. <laughs> Gotta bring it out again. It's gonna come out again. That's my grandmother's thing, yeah. That's what she taught me. <laughs> Hannah's saying she thinks it's commitment that scares people. Arlene's saying under undercover lover. Secret of fear. Yeah, that song. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, Lorraine Bailey's saying yes, it is. Are you saying yes, it is that you're still single? Tell me what you mean, Lorraine Bailey. Um, yeah, I hear that. Then we're undercover lover terms. See, you see, this is what's going on. Listen. But why? But you're why? Come but... yam in your house. I never take. They want to yam out your house, yam out your pum pum, but they don't want to tell no one about it. Right. Like, oh, anyway, just say I'm just saying. I'm just talking. On a Sunday evening, covered in paint, with my gloves exposing me to the world. <laughs> but it's the truth. It's true. It's true. You, 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 you want all the benefits, but you don't want to put nothing in. Yes, it's, it is blocking you from finding someone else. Right, yeah. That's, right. that's what I think. You may be sleeping Grow with up, a lot man. of people. Right, yes. See, Araline is saying, you, might, you may be sleeping with a lot of people. Could you imagine, imagine this scenario, people. Imagine this scenario. You've got your friend with benefit, right? Yeah, that's the one that you talk to a lot of the time, right? So it's a friend and he got benefits with it. And that friend with benefit is sleeping with Susie Wong down the road. And he's also sleeping with um, G.I. Jane down the road. So when he comes to you, do you not know that you've got that spirit, their, their DNA in you? When he's putting, because we, we are the receptors, we receive. We re and sometimes, ladies, actually, you know what? Let me just address the, yeah. Sometimes, ladies, have you ever got to a place where you're behaving in a way that you would never normally behave? Yeah. You better check the spirit that's been deposited in you. Hello. Right. I went there, and men, you see, I saw a video the other day of a man saying, everything in the woman's miserable, everything in the woman's miserable. The reason why the woman's miserable is because you've been putting other people in her. You've been depositing their DNA in her every time you sleep out on her. Hello. So that's why she's behaving erratically, because you have put junk in her Someone trunk. Right. Oh, oh. Anyway, that's me. Carly Barrett's, <laughs> Barrett's saying it's true. But she's saying, Lord have mercy. That's why I no longer have FWB, friends with benefit, as I woke up. That's right. You know, I had to say it out loud, FWB. I had to work it out what that meant in my head. <laughs> yeah. 
Barbara Caravan is saying, preach, you are so spot on, Yvonne. Absolutely. Soul ties, come on. It's come on, somebody. It's the truth. It's the truth. You you need to check. Ladies, you need to check your pum pum out. Would they? You do. Would these men, what their mothers been doing that? Would they like their mothers? Would they oh, God, to see oh, their God. mothers? Oh, like let me turn the camera because she's having one. Go on, go on, go on. She's having would one. Would these men like their mothers? Would they like to see their mothers doing that? Men That's right. Your body is your sanctuary. And we have daughters. We have to remember that we are raising future queens. We have to remember that this we are... The, yeah, this is we are the example. This, listen. Anyway, Zora says, as raw as it is, it's the truth. As a sexual health practitioner, it's impossible to say safe. Women, protect yourselves. Absolutely. Absolutely. We have to take responsibility for our own lives, our own bodies, our own thoughts, our own feelings and our own behaviours. We have to. Right. Araline is saying, but a lot of women don't treat it like it is because because they're lonely. That's why. And, and they feel that they have to have a man. And don't get me wrong. It's lovely and it's beautiful and it's. And it's a perfect thing to find the right person. It is absolutely a beautiful thing. But, but find out who the man is first. A lot of us women, we're too quick to open up our foot. I'm just saying. Before we even know who the person is, we're opening up our foot because we, we don't feel confident. We, 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 we feel less than and we think that if we don't open up our foot, then we're going to lose out. You're not losing out on anything. Know who you are. Know who you are. Value. Remember, I'm going right back to the beginning of this message. Value. Your value is everything. And how you value yourself is paramount. <laughs> See the Rue say, foot or leg? Some say you want to open up your foot. It's, it's a figure of speech. It is. It's a figure of speeches. But, you know, if the foot is open, Lord have mercy. You must keep the foot closed. You must. Until the right one comes. Oh, don't give it away like that. Oh, God. Did you hear that? She's having one. She's on one today. She said, no, they don't want to, they don't, don't want to use a condom. If they don't want to use a condom, con, 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 a condom, bye. Goodbye. She's really upset. I'm not upset. I'm just thinking now. <laughs> She's really upset. Lorraine Bailey's saying Lorraine is doing all the work. Listen, me, I've done all of the Thank work you, in here. Yeah. I have done it. Look, 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 look. She did the ceiling, right? But she can't are reach half the, the wall. Are you gonna lie now? Mid, look, look at the sky. Look at the sky. Look, she, she the, did ceiling. the ceiling. That's why she got speckles. Yeah. I did. No, we did it together. We did it together. She did the skirt. I'm too. hungry now, though. She's on the phone. Typical. <laughs> so that's what's happened. This is, there's more, more than one of her. <laughs> Isn't it? I'm hungry. She's... she's uh, anyway. I think she means thighs. No, don't open your foot. My good male friend, not friends of if it speaks like you, Yvonne. So it's nice to hear a man speak. Absolutely. If you've got a brethren and he's telling you, right, right, don't open up your foot. Take, take Eve. Good. But also question in your heart of hearts, is he looking me? Because he could be. He might be the one. Right. Don't take my foolish advice, you know. Don't, don't do it to yourself. But anyway... We have to, you know, all fun and jokes aside, we, we, we have to, on a serious note, look after ourselves. We do. And we have to wait. There's nothing wrong with waiting. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with waiting. Araline says, you better get her some food before she turns mad on you. <laughs> Thanks, darling. <laughs> do 
I look bothered? <laughs> Not. <laughs> Stop it. It's you, been a day. I know you've been, you're hungry yourself. You just yeah. it's, 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 it's been a day. We've worked really hard today. And we've done a great job. And we're on the way to the boudoir. So, tomorrow we'll be here again. And, uh, and uh, we'll show you the next part of what we're doing. It'll probably look exactly the same as what we've done today. But we just want to share with you and, you know, encourage you to value, find something for yourself that you can do for yourself and, sh and show your own self that you value yourself. It's not about anybody else. Oh, what does it say about gum? Okay. Oh, Zora says, every time you sleep with someone, you take on your partner's previous partners and the same vice versa. Head of, head to the gum clinic. You hear what she said? Head to the gum <laughs> clinic. Head over there, make an appointment to see the people. I used to see so many women and men with STDs and growths on their genitals. Jesus, listen to me. If you have anything growing out of your genital area, go to the gum clinic. All right. When I meet someone, it's a no-brainer. We go to the clinic, we get checked for HIV. You need to take the romance out of it and get real. Absolutely. We are women with children and grandchildren. We want to see grow. Absolutely. Boom. I love that. I love that. Thank you so much for that, Zora. Absolutely true. And, you know, guys, it, the word of God said the truth will set you free. So be free. And, and one point that, that Zora did hit on is, is, you know, take, take, let me see what she said. Uh, she said, many women, blah, 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 take the romance out. That was it. That was the point I wanted to make. We get so tied up in the, oh, he likes me. <laughs> oh, he makes me feel, oh, he feels so good. Oh, and, and when he's talking, <laughs> all of this foolishness. Take the romance out, put some practicality in it, ask the right questions and see if you are going in the same direction. Because I'm t I can promise you this, there is something that you would have seen in him from the beginning that would tell you whether or not you're on the same page. You just chose not to see it. Because many women that I coach and come to me in terms of relationships and they're saying, oh, he wasn't like this in the beginning. Actually, you'll find that he was. And he showed you that he was. He didn't lie to you. He blatantly showed you and you accepted it. So when the, when the shit hits the fan, you have to take responsibility for your action. Yeah? No one else. You take responsibility for what you allowed to happen to you. Bottom line. So you've heard it um, from a, a sexual uh, health advisor. Go and get, take the romance out of it. Go and get yourself checked. And, and you know the, the whole lust and oh I want him and he wants me and oh it makes me feel so good <gasps> it don't feel so good when you've got an STD it don't feel so good when he's thumping you out in your mouth listen to me ladies and gentlemen and this works both ways it's because we know that these things happen both ways right take responsibility take responsibility for your life and do it now do it now and, and by taking responsibility, you are then accepting that you are now putting yourself in a position of value in your own life. Nobody will value you unless you value yourself. Right, so, anyway, so as I say, she's looking forward to the end result. I'm looking forward to the end result. I'm looking forward to, to laying in this bed when it comes. And it's nice. It's beautiful. So we're done. We're done for today. I want to say thank you for joining me. I've been here a lot longer than what I thought I would be. But you guys are really funny. You are. You've given me enough jokes today. Thank you for joining us on this journey. <laughs> I think that was a smile that came after that. <laughs> but she's still got the uh, mask on. Because of social distancing. We ain't stupid. Oh, God. There's no sunlight in here. No. Now, they're my proper glasses. Oh, I thought you were wearing sunglasses. Hi, everybody. Have a great evening. It was lovely talking to you. 
So we'll be talking about the singleness on um, we'll be talking the singleness on Tuesday. Join me ten o'clock after dark. Live. Live. All right, guys. But I'll be back tomorrow. Ciao. Be good. Big up the and sisters. S- stay safe and keep your foot shut. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> not really. <laughs> Just joking. <laughs> I'm not joking, really. I'm being serious. Anyway, <laughs> ciao. Keep your foot shut to strangers. Uh, what did you say? Oh. Keep your foot shut to strangers. And what if, if they're you're not... married, that's fine. Oh. But you're stranger, never. Okay. You too funny. You should make this a regular thing, LOL. <laughs> you lot are funny. You're jokers. Listen, I can't decorate every day, you know. I can't make this a regular thing. This is as and when the motion But we are fucking me. We are. We are. But anyway, I'm going I'm gonna go and get some food now and then I'm gonna have a nice hot bath and dream about my boudoir when it ha- next Saturday. Are you ready? Are you ready for it? Next Saturday we're gonna have a party. Right, we're having a party. So invite all your friends. We're having a party, okay? It's a virtual party in my boudoir. Are you ready for it? Oh, it's going to be amazing. Anyway, Magan, ciao for now. See you later. Ciao, bye.